Recent versions of Ubuntu let you easily copy the live CD to a USB drive, but like the live CD, any changes you made or documents you created would disappear from the USB drive when you shut down. And what I want to create is a portable computer on a USB drive, not an Ubuntu installer. I'll show you how to install Ubuntu to a USB drive so that your changes will persist when you shut down, and you can plug your USB drive into almost any computer, reboot it, and have your very own personalized Ubuntu machine with all your software and documents ready to go. Speaking of ready to go, here's what you'll need for this project. You need a USB drive uh, that's at least 8 gigabytes. You need an Ubuntu Live CD. Uh, I recommend version 8.10 or higher. That's what I'm using for this demonstration and you need a computer that can boot to a USB drive. That's basically anything made in the last six years. Be aware that this is going to completely erase your USB drive, so if there's anything on there that you need, make sure you back it up before you continue. Put your Ubuntu Live CD in, plug in your USB drive, and reboot your computer. If everything's working correctly, you should see a screen that looks like this. Select your language and hit Enter. You can stick with the top option to try Ubuntu and just hit enter. Now the installation process can take a while, anywhere from about half an hour to an hour depending on the speed of everything. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration everything's been wildly speeded up so don't freak out if yours goes a little slower than this. You can see that my USB drive just popped up there, the 7.6 gigabyte media. We need to unmount that so right click on it and go down to the unmount volume option. This way we can actually do the installation to that drive. Now just double click the install icon and we'll get started. First step is to pick your language and then click forward. Next just pick a city in your time zone and when you're done click forward to go on to the next step. Next pick your keyboard type. Canadians who are not in Quebec leave it to USA or you may wind up with some weird characters showing up. Here's the important part where we specify where to do the install. Select Guided Use Entire Disk, and then select the one that is your USB drive. In this case, it's my 8 gigabyte uh, Rally OCZ uh, USB drive. Next, you can enter in your account information, uh, the name that you want to log in with, your password, all that kind of stuff. When that's finished, just click Forward. We're not trying to migrate an existing Ubuntu install, so go ahead and click Forward on the screen. This next step is very important. If you screw it up, you may break not only the USB drive, but the computer that you're doing the install from. So please pay very close attention. On the Ready to Install page, you'll see an Advanced button down in the lower right-hand corner. Click that, and under the option Device for Bootloader Installation, make sure you go down and pick your actual USB drive, not your hard drive on your computer. You can usually tell the difference by the size. When you're done, click OK and then you can go ahead and click install. And that's it. When the installation is finished, just restart your computer. You'll see the restart button show up in a minute. And if your computer doesn't load from Ubuntu on your USB drive, just make sure that your BIOS is set up to boot from the USB.